2.4c, least common multiple using prime factorization. To find a least common multiple of two larger numbers, we must first find the prime factorization of each of the numbers. Then we will be using all of the unique factors, meaning the ones that only that that number has and the other number does not. Assign the highest exponent to each factor. This set of steps will make more sense as we look at them through example one. Example one asks us to find the least common multiple of 24 and 36. As you can tell, using our last method of mental math, we would be using the larger number of 36 and continue finding multiples of it until they both had a common multiple. This will require some long division and quite a bit of multiplication. So this method shows us how to do it using prime factorization. We first factor each of the numbers. So we take 24 and factor it. Remember, you can use either a factor tree or a division ladder. I will be showing the factor tree. Two times 12 makes 24, and two times six makes 12, and two times three makes six. Finding all of the prime tips, we have found the prime factorization of 24 to be two to the third times three. Remember, if you have more than one of a thing, then you can use repeated multiplication and show it as an exponent. We had three twos, so we wrote it as two to the third. Now, Let's find it for 36. 36 divides to 2 and 18. 18 is 2 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3. Once again, we highlight all of the prime factors of 36. Remembering that if there's more than one number, we write it using exponents. Since we have two twos, we write it as two squared. Since we have three, two threes, we write it as three squared. We have now found the prime factorization of each. The second step was to use all the unique factors. To do this, we look at each of the prime factorizations and see which one of these has the highest exponent because as you can see from step three, it said to assign the highest exponent to each factor. So let's first make a list of the factors that we found. We found twos and threes. So these are the unique factors that we found. We then use the highest exponent of each, meaning there are three here, and the highest exponent on the threes is a two. We therefore write two to the third, three to the second. We picked two to the third because that was more than two to the second. And we picked three to the second as that was more than just a three. You always want to pick the highest exponent. Now we must multiply these together because the least common multiple needs to be written as a number and not a prime factorization. Two to the third is two times two times two, which would be eight. And three squared is three times three, which is nine. Eight times nine is 72. This means our least common multiple is 72. Let's look at example two. Example two asks us to find the least common multiple of 54 and 90. Remember, step one is to find the prime factorization of each. So let's start with 54. 
This time I'm going to show it using a division letter. 2 goes into 54 27 times. 3 goes into 27 9 times. And 3 goes into 9 3 times. As you can see, I found all prime numbers. Remember when using a division letter, you must always be using prime numbers. Next, let's do the same with 90. 3 goes into 90 30 times. 3 goes into 30 10 times. 2 goes into 10 5 times. Now let's write the prime factorization of each of these. In the first, it is 2 times 3 to the third because we have three threes. In the second, we have 2 times 3 squared because there are two threes times 5. Remember, when writing prime factorizations, you should always try to put the numbers in order. Now we move on to step two. Step two was to use all of the unique factors, which means we will be needing a 2, a 3, and a 5, as those are the numbers listed in the prime factorizations. We now must pick the ones with the highest exponents. As you can see here, the 2, there's only 1 in each of them, so we only put 1 into the answer, as the highest exponent is 1. Next, we look at the threes. There are three threes or there are two threes. We want to use the higher exponent or three threes. And lastly, we look at the five. There's only one five, so we only put one five in the answer. Now we must multiply this prime factorization together. So we have two times three to the third is three times three times three which is 27 times 5. We now can multiply these together, remembering that we can multiply in any order. If everything is multiplication, we have 2 times 5 is 10, and we still have it times 27. 27 times 10 is 270. This means that our least common multiple is 270. Remember, when finding a least common multiple, and the numbers are larger than you can use with mental math, you should follow the three steps. First, find the prime factorization of each. Secondly, use all of the unique factors. And thirdly, assign the highest exponent to each of those factors. Remember, you must always multiply the prime factorization back together as the least common multiple must be listed as a number and not a prime factorization.